and welcome back to yet another video from my TV YouTube and in today's video the today's topic discussion will be about who should you give your respect to this was initially supposed to be a voiceover but I decided nah, let me do a video instead so you can see my face talk about this I guess <laughs> but with that i guess being explained that's basically the premise of this video and okay let me elaborate a little more respect is normally stated in most in some cultures actually to be demanded for like people demand respect or you're obliged to show a certain person that you may not even know um, some sort of respect just because of their status in life or because of their age or because they're your teacher well who should you really be aiming to give your respect to because respect is a precious thing now it sounds like I'm already going into the video but I'm not that was just the intro so let's roll the actual intro no that was the introduction for the video let's, let's roll the intro <laughs> So with the intro rolled, wait, with the intro rolled and the video premise explained, let's get into this video properly. Now, when respect, yes, notebook, but it's unnecessary because it's, again, one night. So, what I really need this not really. When you're given your respect, it's something that's more or less earned, well, something that more or less should be earned because it's your viewpoint on someone and how you treat someone. If they treat you bad, you're not like, oh, yes, you're older than me. I have to respect you. That's not, that's, that should not be the case. Just because someone's older than you and may have a higher status in you in life does not mean that you're obliged to give them your respect. But, not but, the thing is, respect is more or less earned and shouldn't just be given away like candy. And you should choose who to give your respect to on the way that they treat you. However, somebody not even depending like yeah actually whoever depending on the age uh whatever actually however anybody treats you uh okay let, let me take two people again <laughs> yeah um as a comparison this is just a useful comparison all right one all right, not two people that will be using two different scenarios for two people and you as a viewer i'm going i want to get you involved in this and that in some sort of way let's say one person treats you like doo, -doo cheeks like j j just bum bum cheeks and just treats you like the the lego oh wait no you won't you would not want the stuff on lego on your bedroom no that hurts uh treats you less or doesn't really consider you more worthy than the sand on the bottom of his shoe let's say that's one person and the other person does not praise you but the, I'll say respect it shows. I won't really say shows respect to you, but shows that you two are equal beings and treats you how they would want to be treated. It's rather obvious unless you like to be treated like bum bum cheeks. But it's rather obvious who you would want to respect. Uh, let's say the person that treats you like bum bum cheeks is older than you, and the person who treats you equally or as an equal is around younger or no that sounds like that sounds more pedophilic um treats you equally and is the same age mate as you normally yeah you're supposed to be getting along sort of because you two are like the same age mate you don't have to but you sort of do but then in this society you're more or less not mm, you're not more or less have to depending on the way that they treat you but in some cultures you're more or less obliged 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 to treat them with a lot of respect, basically bound down them. Okay, it's like I can't talk today. Bound them, to them, bowing down to them like they are your mini idol or something that you have to worship. So, but the thing is, 
who, I mean, out of these two, just because of one's age does not mean they have to show them respect. I, that's basically the only example I'll use maybe in this video, unless I find like a video of my own, not my own, not like me being disrespected or me disrespecting someone, not like that, but um, a video on YouTube or Facebook or something like that of someone who's showing respect or does not want to show to respect someone that is older than them that does not show them respect which is rather obvious even though you're obliged or told that you have to show respect to some people it doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that you always have to but there are some cases that is completely different like for example your parents they gave birth to you it doesn't mean that they have to take you out either that's besides the point but that is somebody that you should respect they went your mom went to labor for you or to give birth to you and uh your dad okay um some people say what did what did my dad do yeah you were in your dad's genitals for that long amount of time for that period of time until the birds and the bees yeah I think that's the analogy that we use for kids nowadays <laughs> but if there's anyone that's i don't know younger than nine or something and that's watching this video that's the analogy i'm going to use just like anybody else or most parents who sit their children down and you know talk about the deed <laughs> peace why don't you listen now I can't hear. Okay, there's mutual respect. I can't hear. Don't just follow the steps where you regard them as like your friend or someone that you can trust or someone that you like show a butt ton of manners to or or just consider them high, not really higher than you but someone that as like not an idol either more like a role model. That's someone that you more than show respect to. Or someone who shows respect back to you, really. But, or even regarding them as like an ally or something like that. And then there's, and, and then regarding them as an ally or such. And then there's mutual respect where you just, oh, oh, hey, you know, could you please excuse me? I would like to get through. Thank you very much. Simple. It's not like you're like, oh, yeah, thank you. I'm so grateful that you moved out the way for me. <gasps> no, that that's not going to be the case of someone just like, oh, okay, yeah. That's mutual respect. There's a difference between mutual respect and or the mutual, you know, thanks. I mean, yeah, you know, probably some of that. Like a quick favor, nothing like, not even a major favor. And yeah, there's obvious difference to these. I guess I've touched this topic to the bit I did. This is basically what I need to say about respect. So let me just double check my notes. Uh, who should you show respect to? Who should you give? I mean, yeah, but the thing is, respect is always earned. For someone to be able to have your respect, they need to have been able to, I don't know, show you that you can respect them. Like, show them, like, you can trust them. It's not just respect, it's also trust and loyalty. Those are three things that should be earned and not just given to, like, oh, yes, can be. Um, Loyalty for you, loyalty for you, trust for you, trust for you, respect. Who are you? No, you have to. Like, you have to pick and choose. Mm, no, I don't. I, no, you're not loyal. Uh, Just I, who I, are no, you? Uh, no. Trust. I don't trust you to hold my cup of tea. I don't think I can trust you. Maybe I'll ask you to do me a minor favor next time you hold a piece of paper. For you, yeah. You're good. I respect you. I, you, I can, you can help me with these things. You've been able to help me with these things. I can also trust you because I've seen that I can trust you. Something like that you can pick and you have to, not that you can. You have to in this world, in this life, pick and choose who you're going to give that respect to. Or it's not just one person. It's not like a uh, one time thing. I've already given my respect to him. I can't give it my respect to you. It, it's not like that. You can also give respect to, I mean, some people, they just blatantly use the word respect, like, oh yeah, you know, you know that you, that person on, on, on the internet that I have never seen before in my life, mad respect, 
I just I just respect him because of one action that I've seen him do or her do and I now automatically respect that person. And that should not be the case because we need to choose who to give our respect to. Now obviously you two probably won't necessarily meet so it doesn't really matter. I just like, oh, I respect what you've done but not the person. That that's also different. There are many ways that you can respect mutually or even just their action or what they have done. But in the end, we all need to remember that we need to choose who to give our respect to. Hope you've enjoyed this video and hope you like, subscribe, comment, share. Hope you've learned something from this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like down there. You'll, you'll just see the, you know, the sparks. Like a, It's like a whole firework, you know, it's a spectacle. You can undo it and you can do it again because of how beautiful it now looks. Thank you, YouTube, I guess, for that, you know. It's actually a really good animation, I can't lie. But, I hope you've enjoyed it, like, subscribe, comment, share, you'll really be helping your brother out. And I hope to see you in the next video, which will definitely be coming out this week. And with that said and explained, let's get into the video. Now, I haven't even started, if you know what I'm trying to say. So, anyway, I'll see you in the next video.